I am Don Baldan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and today we're going to be checking out the new trailer expressions to the Boom Experience from Sample Logic. With a steaming hot hand, Sample Logic released trailer expressions to the Boom Experience. Look at that. That is one hot hand. Probably because he's been slapping on the trailer percussion so hard. This is the follow-up to a Trailer Expressions 1, uh, which was a, a great sounding set of samples in uh, Contact Instrument. This is 47 different Contact Cinematic Construction Kits with 1,775 audio files in WAV format, 96K, 24-bit, total downloads is 9 gigabytes. Uh, I'll be sure to include the link to take you straight over to a Sample Logic page where you'll see there's a special intro price right now for $199 for the instrument. It normally sells for $299. There's also this cross grade if you already own Trailer Expressions 1. Save another $50 bucks and grab it for $149. If you don't have either, they're on a bundle. $349.99 for Trailer Expressions 1 and 2. So in this video, I'm just going to be doing a first look, taking a listen to the sounds, flipping through, just get a sense of what this instrument's all about. I'll, of course, include a link to you straight over to the Sample Logic page if you want to grab the instrument's while it's on the special intro price. Let's find out what it's all about. This is the boom. Uh, oh, boy. We got a big boy interface. That's the first thing we can say about the library the big boy interface all right um i'm just going to play through a whole bunch of these and check them out listen to them and see you know there's only a few controls here and we'll see what uh what it sounds like nice bass drops, some blasts. That one is pretty fierce. Looks like you got the ability to control your uh, pitch and uh, you can do that with your pitch. Um, wheel as well. These blasts are pretty fierce. But they also have the energizer, which makes things... I'm going to play the same sample, but with this turned on. Gives a little more... I'm not sure exactly what that does. It sounds almost like a bit of a distortion. The Polisher, that thing is really tweaking it out. And then you've got uh, delay controls. As well as the convolution. Yeah, you can do quite a bit of manipulation because these convolutions are actually based on other samples. I'm not sure if they're included samples from the library or not. All right. Uh, we got a set of drones. Hmm. I might not call that a drone. I might call these atmospheres. What do you guys think? You think these are drones? That I can see being called a drone. It's 
quite a few of these. It looks like we've got uh, 12, 24, 36, 40, about 48, it's a little over 48. Yeah, I'm going to have to to put my foot down and say these are atmospheres, not drones. Um, and if you don't agree, that's fine, but I'd love to know. Maybe uh, we've got defi different definitions. Hits. These are always going to be important. We've got uh, the cinematic darkness is the folder we're in. And we're listening to the hits here. Okay, these I'm gonna I'm gonna uh I'm gonna put my foot down and say these are booms, guys. That one's a hit. And I do like the sound design. Um, just kind of quickly flipping through it to get a feel for it. Uh, important to note, as I, I said up front, that these are all in, these all come with the 96k 24-bit WAV files. If you like to work that way, I know I prefer to drag those in sometimes. This is the impacts. It's a, a nice bit of Whoa. Here's some noises. That's a noise, all right. And then we got uh, some risers. things I'm going to note right now. Um, you see on the interface, it tells you the name of the sample, which is invaluable. If you use contact like I do to work in, but then you want to grab your wave file, you could actually see what it is. The other thing is we've got the ability to heart that sound, and I'm, I don't know where it would come up later, uh, except down here. Look at this. We've got a nice little red key showing us that we Part of that sound, so maybe able to to uh, select a bunch of favorites. We also got the ability to drag our attack point, start point, start point, which is different than our attack. See, we get a nice slow uh, fade in if we do a, a several hundred millisecond attack. Whereas this is telling us where the sample starts at. Uh, low cut and high cut controls. Uh, 
everything seems to be uh, controlled easily with MIDI CC. <laughs> Okay, a nice selection of risers. Um, here we got an octave of screams. Now, I am excited to see what they mean by this. Yeah, those are nice. I think that uh, we're going to be hearing those a lot in horror trailers and One's called Smashed. Move on to one called Tensions. Okay, this is a riser. It seems like there's quite a few of these. Yeah, I'm I'm just kind of going up the keyboard. Hmm. Again, I'm going to have to say uh are these tension risers? Maybe that would have been a bit better, better way to label it. Or tension crescendos. Tension Builder is what this last one was called, or this last set up here. And uh, I wonder if that might have been a better name, a little more communicative, <laughs> just my two cents. Transitions. I hate to keep saying that I don't agree with the names, but I would have probably called this Whoosh Transmissions. Just my two cents. Uh, whooshes. Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. Cinematic hits. Okay, we got the booms up. Now, one thing I do hear is uh, there's quite a bit of reverb in these. And I know some people say, why didn't you play it without the reverb? Well, there's no controls for reverb. What we're hearing when I let go is a longer release time. So if I cut the release time, let me try it. Whereas if the release time. Because as of now, there should be no processing on this. There's no delay, no convolution, no low cut, no high cut, uh, no energizer, and no polisher. So these are simply the samples we're listening to. And let's see how the hits for this cinematic hits. It's got some verb in it. 
different sized rooms. So that's part of the sound design. Yeah, that's that's a lot of herb on this one. So they're more like um, all ready to go. There's little you. There's not too much you can do to get reverb out of stuff. So what you get here is the samples. Got a folder of cinematic metals. It sounds like everything is in the same key. That one's got a little bit of a, a wonky. But you're going to need to control your key just by using your pitches. Quite a few impacts here. We've got uh, four instruments of cinematic metals. Those are nice. Sub rumblers. A selection of these. That one, that huh? card door hard. It's weird. Those might not be the ones I gravitate towards, but for some specialty stuff, I could see using those. I'm going to say the same with these here. Scratches, what could this be? A fence? Sword? Piece of sheet metal of some kind? Yeah. Okay, we've got a uh, cinematic trailer designed. Nice. Uh, boom. Just a small selection of those. Risers. And... If I don't talk about this, I want to address it now. I may 
probably talked about it already or will again. Uh, I love the ability to change your sample point. That's one of the things about a big boy interface is you get a large wave file where you can easily adjust it tiny bits by tiny bits to get it to start where you want. So you can utilize the contact instrument as much as you can instead of having to rely on bringing the waves in. Of course, your workflow may vary. Yeah, because this is a nice hit right here. Stingers. Now this is a perfect example of why I like a big boy interface for looking at wave files, because I could get precise. If I just want that attack. I can dial it in there. Yeah. Those stingers are nice. Damnation whoosh. Again, that release there he is all about uh, hearing. So these, sa these samples do have quite a bit of reverb baked in. Um, from what I can tell. And that's part of the sound design. I'm going to compliment the actual naming of the WAV files, even though I've been a, a little critical of the naming of the contact instruments. These seem to be uh, very detailed and almost uh, very descriptive. And, and nail, head of the nail, nail of the head, some saying like that. All right, we got two more, th th actually three more folders. Here's the uh, destruction of the destruction designed. Very interesting. Some of these, I'm starting to think, like this sound here. Here it is. So this one here. I'm almost wishing I had more controls now. I wish I had a, an out point and a loop control so I could kind of turn this into an atmosphere or a sample that I could use. If that makes any sense, I guess what I'm saying is um, for a hit playback sample player, this works really well. But some of these samples it might have been might have been fun to have more controls inside the interface. Wow, 
spots a crumbling. We got uh, two more things we're going to dig through, two more folders. This is the horror designed. Yeah, this is perfect. When they moved into the house on the hill, they didn't realize it was haunted. This is the kind of instrument I um, probably will spend more time with, just prepping and heart hearting, <laughs> so that I'll know which ones I gravitate towards while I'm uh, working on tracks. Put a heart on it. Uh, I am going to say the that uh, the system of doing one heart is great, but. I'm actually wondering um, if if I was designing the interface and these controls, I love the idea of harding and having it highlighted. However, I would have liked to have maybe three different kinds of color coding because that would have given me a system I could be like um, designating colors for different usages or uses, I should say. Yeah, these extremes are pretty crazy. I mean, I could see myself using something like this as an alarm. And then even go taking it further out using some crazy convolution. If I'm going to have a, a really big pro about this collection, I think it's consistently strong. And the other big pro I think I'm feeling right now is that they're clean and simple. Um, so you could stack them and layer them. Often I get sample sets that just have too many things going on and I just wish I had them broken apart. Let's jump ahead to some reversed. Nice. And again, another interface uh, on wish list for the interface would be wouldn't it be great if every single hit you could hit a button and reverse it, and then you had a you had yourself a, a, a second use of a sample. And yeah, you can do that with your wave files. I understand that. See, this is nice because um, I can just use this part here. 
Uh, another interface um, thing I would have loved to have seen is I would have loved to have seen it, it shows you what the name of the sample you played back. I would have loved to have known which key I had just played. So it would highlight or name that key somewhere, or maybe it would be, you know, uh, magenta or some other color. Nice. I really like those. Shockers. Can't wait to hear this. Stingers. about half an hour in um, so we're just uh, gonna listen to a few of these and then jump to the bonus content And then we got a set of whooshes. I think that this horror set is the strongest. I mean, I've, I've been clear that I think it's consistently uh, well, des well sound designed and very well curated from the giant uh, boom libraries. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, Sample Logic, for making this a bonus because that is exactly the kind of sample that I was talking about where too much is going on. Where yes, it will be useful at some point. But for the most part, there's just too many things going on for me to rely on it as a useful tool. And I wonder if what they're thinking was why these are bonus instruments. I mean, they're cool. See, this looks like we got some uh, explosions and weapons. The old airstrike and broken glass. Ooh, some gunshots. Yeah. These are axe, uh, armor and chainmail, bow and arrow. See, like this. Bring it in here just to get a nice little percussive instrument. Yay. 
Yeah. Why do you think they call them bonuses? That's what I'm wondering. I mean, they're great. Risers, stringers, and drones. <laughs> Welcome to hell, boys and girls. Yeah. Thanks so much for spending a little time to check out the video here with me. Um, always appreciate any of your thoughts. Please comment in the description below. Tell me what you think about the library. Any and all comments are helpful and useful as we try to decide what to try to cover yes, with so many software instruments coming out. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. We love your support. Be sure to head over to samplelibrarywreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and our weekly deals page.